Hello, my name is Jennifer, and I will be talking about view invariant probabilistic embedding for human pose. These images depict a person's pose from four different angles. There is significant appearance variation across camera views, and we see that the same 3D key points project to very different 2D key points in different views. View invariant representation of 2D key points is helpful for a variety of vision tasks such as pose-based image retrieval and video alignment across views. Therefore, we explore our approach to embed 2D pose key points to view invariant embeddings. 2D pose embeddings from similar 3D poses are close together in the embedding space, and 2D pose embeddings from different 3D poses are further apart. Two different 3D poses can project to the same 2D pose, as seen with view two on the right. To capture this input ambiguity in 2D poses, we use probabilistic embeddings. The variance of our embeddings correlate with 2D input ambiguity. Current works generally predict 3D poses either by first detecting 2D poses from images and lifting to 3D poses, or do 3D pose estimation directly on images. Using 3D pose as a representation is in general not view invariant, since there can be rotation, translation, and scale differences across views. Most works predict a single 3D pose given images or 2D poses, and is thus not probabilistic. Additionally, camera parameters are often required. In comparison, we directly predict view invariant probabilistic pose embeddings from 2D poses. By learning view invariant embeddings, we can leverage this property in Euclidean space for downstream tasks across views, whereas 3D poses require rigid alignment between pose pairs. The probabilistic nature of our embedding capture input ambiguity and can describe the confidence that two 2D poses are projected from similar 3D poses. Our model does not require camera parameters. During inference, our model takes key point input from a single 2D pose and predicts embedding distributions. During training, we form triplets of 2D poses from matching and non-matching 3D poses. Matching 2D pose pairs, or positive pairs, are detected from multi-view images or randomly rotated and projected from the same 3D pose. Non-matching 2D pose pairs, or negative pairs, are detected from images or projected from a non-matching 3D pose pair. Each element of the triplet is fed into our embedding model, and the goal of training is to push the embedding distributions of the positive pair closer together and the negative pair further apart. To do so, we use the idea of computing matching probability of 2D pose pairs. Matching probability is the probability that two 2D poses are projected from similar 3D poses. Here, we see that for the positive pair, we would like the matching probability to be close to one, and for the negative pair, we would like the matching probability to be small. We estimate the matching probability of the 2D poses using their embeddings. Since we know that the positive pair should have higher matching probability than the negative pair, the ratio of matching probability between positive and negative pair should be greater than one. By applying a negative log to this inequality, we see that we can optimize for this using the triplet loss framework as shown here. In triplet ratio loss, distance is measured by the matching probability and beta is a hyperparameter. In this way, we push the matching probability of positive pairs to be higher than negative pairs. A second loss, the positive pairwise loss, encourages the matching probability of the positive pair to be high, since we know that the positive pairs are from matching 3D poses. We compute matching probability using a formulation based on the sigmoid function. Through this formulation, we map embedding distance to probabilistic similarity. Here, the entire framework is shown. From input 2D pose triplets, three losses based on embedding distributions with sampling are used for training. Triplet ratio loss, positive pairwise loss, and prior loss. The Gaussian prior loss is based on a unit Gaussian, 
which regular, regularly rises in bedding magnitude and prevents variance collapse. Given a 2D pose from a query image, we can use our view invariant embeddings of the 2D pose to retrieve an image with a similar 3D pose across views. We do so by computing the pose embedding of the query pose, then retrieving the nearest neighbor in the embedding space from all embedded 2D poses from different views. The retrieved nearest neighbor is then evaluated quantitatively. It is accurate if the corresponding 3D pose matches the query 3D pose and inaccurate if the 3D poses are non-matching. Here, we establish a baseline for cross-view pose retrieval. We see that our embeddings retrieve poses across views more accurately compared to using 3D poses from existing 2D to 3D lifting methods. Since 3D poses are not view really invariant, we apply procrustis alignment between every query index pair during retrieval which is expensive due to SVD computations between every pose pair. In contrast, our embeddings can be directly used in simple Euclidean space without pose processing. Our model is only trained on human 3.6, and we see that it is able to generalize to the 3D HP dataset, which contains new poses and new views. We evaluate our embedding on all cameras on the right as well as a subset of chest level cameras in the middle, which more resembles the camera views from Human 3.6. These results show that our model is able to generalize well to new poses, looking at the 3D HP chest level cameras, as well as new poses and new views based on 3D HP all cameras. Here are the qualitative retrieval results with query on the left and the retrieved pose on the right. Our embedding does not depend on a particular 2D key point detector and does not require any additional information, such as camera parameters during inference. We show in the wild performance on row three. Our embeddings can be directly applied to action recognition and video alignment across views without training any additional models. Our model is trained only on human 3.6 and is applied to the target pen action dataset. For video action recognition, we first detect 2D poses for each frame in the video, then compute our embedding for each frame. We stack frame level embeddings within a small time window centered at each frame, and we use them for distance computation. We use Manila dynamic time warping algorithm to align video pairs based on this distance and use the average aligned distance to measure similarity between two videos. We then classify videos using nearest neighbor search. Our performance is competitive with other models explicitly trained for action recognition and using additional modalities, such as the image and optical flow. We note that even with just providing index videos from a single view, our embeddings can still be used to classify actions from all views with high accuracy. This demonstrates an advantage of our view invariant embeddings. The process for video alignment is similar to action recognition. We directly evaluate the quality of the aligned videos using our embeddings. We measure alignment using candles tau, which reflects how well the embeddings can be applied to align on-scene sequences if we use nearest neighbor in the embedding space to match frames for video pairs. Our model is competitive with other models trained for video alignment. In particular, we see that our embedding achieves high performance regardless of whether we are aligning videos pairs with the same view or different views. This result demonstrates the view invariant property of our embeddings. Here we see the results of our embedding model with no training on this target data set aligning videos of the same action in different views. Here are additional results. We release our code for research at the provided link and the QR code is shown on the top right corner. Thank you.